Hey guys, this is uh, Christopher Parham, otherwise known as SQ57 on the Endless Fear Forum and the owner of LiPo Connects and Solutions. Um, I'm doing this video just to kind of do a review of this battery. It's one of the Turning G B grade batteries. It's a 3000 milliamp hour 40C battery. This is a 2S, a 2S battery. Uh, uh, when I got the pack, it was pretty firm and you know, it looks like a good solid pack. I was expecting, uh, you know, maybe high IR or just a misbalanced pack right out the gate. And that wasn't the case. It was actually um, the IR, uh, the IR starting was like around, I would say, 2.2 to 2.5 after several IR tests. So it's not great, but it's it's okay for what it is um, so I started doing several discharge tests on it and so the first let's start with the 1c discharge the 1c discharge gave me 3011 milliamp hours so it was right on spec for what it was supposed to be for 5c it gave me 3014 uh, milliamp hours and then after 5C, it started showing diminishing capacity. So at 10C, it gave me 2951. Um, at 15C, um, it gave me 2917. At 20C, it gave me 2844. And at 22C, it gave me 2767. Um, when I noticed during the discharge, it was able to hold a good voltage until about 2,700 uh, milliamp hours, and then anything past that point was pretty much garbage, meaning it was below 3.5 volts a cell, and the voltage was uh, taking drastically. And so this happened at 1C, 5, 1C, 5C, and 10C, but any discharge test higher than that, that point shifted from 2700 to 2600 to 2500 as you went up to the 15C, 20, 20C discharges. That sweet spot of you getting good performance out of this pack shifted lower and lower. Not by much, but by, you know, 50 to 100, uh, 50 to 100 milliamp hours. So overall, like I said, this is a 3000 milliamp hour pack. It did pretty good for itself. Um, for, for the most part, at least for the first, I would say, 85 to 90% of the discharge capacity, it did pretty well. But anything past that, it was just garbage. So this 3,000, I would derate it to about 2627 of actual usable good capacity. And, um, and the harder I was hitting this pack, the better balance that it was keeping at the end of the discharge. So when I did the 1C discharge, it was like a huge misbalance. But the harder and uh, harder and harder I hit it, you know, from 1C to 5C to 10C to 15, 20, 22C, at the end of the discharge, this pack was almost in near perfect balance the harder I hit it. And also since the pack was warming up, um, the IR was better, so I've seen IR on this pack as low as 1.2 um, to 1.3 when I was hitting it really, really hard. At room temperature, it's going to be a little bit over, a um, little bit over two. So, um, would I use this pack? I mean, it was, I would say this is a good test pack, a good beater pack. These cells are cheap enough to where, you know. Is not gonna hurt the budget too much, even after 22C testing and this pack getting up to almost 130, 135C. This pack is still quite firm. firm. The only puffing is that I feel is from the heat shrink not being uh, heat shrink as well as it should, but it's it's still firm, still rock hard. Um, I didn't see any diminishing results. Like I said, I don't know what the cycle life on this would be, but if you need a quick, dirty pack and you don't want to put a lot of money into it, and as long as you derate it to about, I would say, um, 80%, I mean, which we shouldn't be discharging our light bulbs below 80% anyway, um, but this is good from 
from one one hundred percent down to the last twenty percent. I would just leave the last twenty percent alone because you'll be disappointed. Um, and like I said, it handled the C rate quite well and. This pack still kind of holds true to the quarter C rating. This says it's a 40 C pack. So like roughly right around 10 C, 10 to 15 C is pretty much the point to where, you know, if you start drawing too much, it'll at the end of the discharge, it'll start sagging a lot. So um, I would say the quarter C rule still kind of applies, but if you did need to reach a little bit more, as high as 20C on this pack, I would say it's okay, but the higher you go up in C rating, the lower you need to diminish the capacity. And I would think, um, you know, even at my test at 20C, this should be almost derated as a 2,500 milliamp hour pack. Cause like I said, the harder you push this, it puts out good voltage up to a certain point and then it just starts falling off. So. The capacity is there at 1C. At 20C, is just the capacity is not really there like it should. Like I said, we're at 20, 20C, 22C, we're talking about 27, 28. But then again, like I said, the actual good usable, good voltage capacity is close to around 25, 2600. Um, like I said, I'm surprised by this pack. You know, if I need a quick, dirty pack, I would probably buy this again. Like I said, I would just derate it a good bit, like degrade it by a good 20%, and I think it'll be gold and just don't reach for that last half. It's there, but I wouldn't use it. So, um, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, on a preference of this pack, this was probably up there around, I would say, 6 or 7. And the value compared to a multi-star, just the simple fact that this can discharge more power than a multi-star. They do have bigger packs of this, uh, like bigger capacity, like 5 amp hours and higher S counts and everything. So they do higher, have higher capacity sales and packs and the B grades. And the, the price on them is really good. So if you need, like... A cheap pack that's high discharge. This may be right down your alley um, versus a multi star, which you're really limited in the discharge capacity of a multi star. Um, but shoot, like maybe even pairing, you know, one P of this up with the multi star can, you know, boost it up a little bit without going up to the nanotech. Um, so that's what I think of this pack. I think it's pretty all right. All the all the um, all the discharge graphs are on Endless Sphere Facebook and on the Endless Sphere forum, so you can look at 1C, 5C, 10C, 15C, 20C, and 22C. Basically, it's from 3 amps up to 70 amps. And like I said, the reason why um, I chose these smaller packs, they they're not a good representation of the bigger packs that you can buy, but the same discharge characteristics can scale up and I can hit these packs with a much higher C rating with my setup when I use lower capacity packs. So, you know, all of these numbers should scale up pretty well. Like I said, there was no diminishing. The harder I was hitting this, there wasn't like any diminishing things that like like the pack was getting weaker or the pack was getting bloated or anything and I was getting less and less capacity. That simply wasn't the case. Like I said, this pack is still rock hard, you know, as when I got it. So um, that's it for now. I'm wrapping this video up. Thanks for watching.